little quick show here. Um, it's uh, November 1st, right after th uh, Halloween. Um, Daniel Cormier fights Derek Lewis tomorrow. I figured I'd do a quick show over the, uh, the Weidman fight and Jacare Souza, and of course, um, my man there, Anthony Lionheart Smith, being beaten Vulcan Ozdemir. Good fight, man. Good fight. The kid really brought it. Um, whether he's a title contender or not, I don't know. Um, anyway, Anthony Lionheart Smith, he really brought it. Um, kid's looking good, but I don't know if he's the next in line. I think, uh, we'll see what goes on with Daniel Cormier and, um, Jones here. Uh, I don't know, man, uh, if this thing gets hurt, I think Jones might try to step in there to defend his title. I don't know. But, uh, I'm definitely taking Cormier over Derek Lewis. And, uh, uh, the Jack Ray fight. It stays on its feet. Wideman's gonna dominate. Um, goes on the ground, and it's Jack Ray's game, and it's all over for, for, uh, for our man Wideman. Um, Fighting at home, Madison Square Garden can't beat that. I'd like to see him go for the title again. Uh, I think he can beat both those. Uh, other than Yoel, I think he can beat anyone else. Uh, I wanted to see that Luke Rockhold fight, man. Him and Weidman need to run that shit back. That was good shit last time. Um, we'll see how it goes on. Uh, I'll probably be posting another video tomorrow for anybody that actually watches this shit. Um, <laughs> not too many of you. I think I had two views on one. 45 on one. I don't know. But whatever, guys. I don't care. You know, me and Chubbs, we like to make them. Huh, <laughs> Chubbies? Chubbs, you like making the videos? Chubbs likes making the videos. We're in the basement getting ready to go out. That's where I usually do all my wonderful uh, making of these movies. Um... So we'll see what goes on tomorrow, guys. I'll see you after the fights or early in the morning, maybe early afternoon. Depends on how uh, I go. Um, so we'll see you after the fights. That's I'm taking Dan Cormier, Chris Weidman. That's my picks, baby. Um, other than that, we're still working on our pound for pound list. Uh, I really been thinking this over. <laughs> I think I'm going to do an all-time list, too. I'm going to do the pound-for-pound pound list right now. We all know who I got at number one with DC. Um, and tomorrow I'd like to talk about the trade. Ben Askren in the UFC. My God. I've been waiting for this for so long. I mean, he's been a huge Ben Ash Askren fucking fan, uh... The, the man's amazing, he really is. He's, he's, he was Khabib before Khabib was Khabib. It's pretty much what it is. But, uh, Dana, being the dick that Dana is, wouldn't let the man in the UFC. And you see the results of it. Um, <coughs> it, uh, it's bullshit. Simple, plain and simple, it's bullshit. It, uh, he, he should already had a couple belts. You know, I don't know if he can beat... GSP, job still caught. Um, what? But it would have been nice to watch them fight in their primes. I mean, the man's 34 years old. He, he He's not in his prime. He's not going to be the Ben Askren that I'd have liked to have seen fight in the UFC. He's not the Ben Askren that I would have liked to have seen develop into a striker from the UFC fighters. But uh, we'll see what goes on, guys. Um, I think he's going to fight Dan Till first. I think that's pretty much the plan for Dana White. And no, I'm not a big Yankees fan. I have a bunch of hats, and this just happened to be the one I put on. I'm actually a Pittsburgh Pirates fan. So, <laughs> lucky me, right? Yeah, 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 that's hardcore shit right there, guys. None of you can act like you're tough till you're a Pittsburgh Pirates fan. Keep that in mind, fellas. You don't know pain until you've been a Pirates fan for 40 years of my life. I mean, since birth, I've been a Pirates fan. I wear the Yankees hat. I wear, I have an Orioles hat. It just, it's, I love baseball. I love sports. So, you know, whatever. Um, but back to, back to MMA. 
Um, and yes, I am a Steeler fan. For anybody that wants to know that. But we'll see what goes on, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, Ben Askren, come on, brother. Don't let me down. You better beat the shit out of whoever they put in front of you because I'm, I'm going to be talking mad shit to keep you going. Uh, it's a shame to see DJ go. That's, that's you know, in my opinion, I think DJ is the GOAT. Remember, that. Um, as far as the greatest of all time, um, 11 title defenses, and I think he beat the, I think he won the last fight. Um, I don't know what anybody else thinks. I watched the fight. It's kind of a non-DJ fight, but I think he might have uh, not been himself. I think this might have been in the works before. Um, I think he wanted to finish out his career, go to one, and be done. And uh, he already said he'll be ending his career there, so we'll see. Um, he said they're probably getting rid of the 125 division for men. We'll see what happens there. They're, they're adding one for women, getting rid of one for men. I think they're going to get rid of the 125 and add a 165 or realign the divisions. And the new welterweight division will be 175 and the new middleweight division will be 190 is what I think is going to go on. But... I'm not sure, or, uh, yeah, it might stay 185, everything's 10 pounds, so, you know, we might see, uh, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, instead of 205, be nice to see some of them guys get that, uh, some of the weight cuts that they'd have to do, guy like Jones, uh, can he make 200, or is he gonna do what I wanted him to do a long time ago, go to heavyweight? Um, yeah, I, I know, guys, I've said goodbye three times, but I get bullshit, and that's why I do these. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Well, nah, God only knows when Dana White's in charge. I don't think he knows what he's doing, but God, the luckiest man on the planet is Dana White. He really is. Um, he won the life lottery. He really did. Um... He's a dumbass, good businessman, but come on, man, he's a fucking asshole. He really is. Who, who drops a million dollars on a 16-year-old's fucking party? I mean, come on. Come the fuck on. He's fucking got fighters that are fucking killing themselves for him. And he's dropping a million dollars on a punk-ass kid's fucking party. Yes, Danny, your kid's a punk-ass bitch. You heard it here first, trust me. He's a spoiled little fucker. Anybody who gets a million dollar party is a spoiled little fucker. Um, but we'll see what goes on, guys. Um, see you tomorrow. Until then, as always, peace and God bless.